Advanced air mobility is the future. What you see is a very special drone, an air ambulance. <laughs> this has been developed by Professor B. Rajalakshmi. She works at Indian Institute of Technology, Hyderabad, which has a test bed for this. Uh, thanks a lot for speaking to me, Professor Rajalakshmi. What is this drone and what can it do? Actually, this is an advanced air mobility drone which can actually carry a human up to 100 kg payload and this has very humongous applications starting from air ambulance which can actually evacuate a person from a disastrous location or under medical emergency and take to the nearby PHCs or health center which is very very important in the Indian context. Apart from that it can be very useful for defense applications where we need to you know during emergencies people have to be moved from one location to another during disaster management scenarios and over and above it can be utilized as air taxis which can do intercity connect you know for people to avoid road traffic and road congestions this can be used to connect between cities within a state or within a uh, so air ambulance air mobility air taxi is one use can it also be used for transporting cargo at high altitude locations like the Indian military needs in, in Himalayas? Yes, sir. So we have another variant of the same drone, a heavy payload carrying drone, which can carry a cargo up to 150 to 200 kilograms payload, which we call as Chakra view. This can be utilized for multi-purpose cargo carrying. It can be utilized by fisheries department, it can be utilized by department of agriculture, it can be utilized by ministry of defense for carrying of any kind of cargo at different altitudes as well. We have tested now in uh, the Hyderabad city and now we are planning to do the testing in Uttam, Jammu the, for high altitude testing. Now this drone, now we can glow, go close to it, it is now uh, stationary. Is this all made in India? Are the parts made in India? Because we have some concerns about that. Yes, sir. So, the, as far as the design of the drone is con concerned, the complete design starting from the 3D model to the analysis, which includes the vibration, acoustic and various FEM analysis are completely in-house design. The complete IP belongs to IIT Hyderabad, Tihan Lab on the complete design of the drone. We have started this activity three years before, you know, which was funded under the Department of Science and Technology under National Mission Interdisciplinary Cyber Physical Systems Initiative, where Tihan at IIT Hyderabad was funded on the technology vertical of autonomous navigation data acquisition systems now this drone you're calling it palyanka yes it means chariot chariot yes because this is designed to carry a person from one place to another person uh, another place so that's why we have named it as palyanka okay which means you chariot. talked of air taxis now there is a lot of requirement to transport people in places like uh, Vaishno Devi or in uh, uh, Sabri Mala, where people have to be sent from one low location to a higher altitude, can a drone like this in future be used for uh, something like this? Yes, yes. This is specifically getting designed for people movement at different altitudes and for specific uh, targeted applications like, you know, Vaishnava Devi Temple or Sabari Mala or, you know, as I was saying, as medical emergency drones for evacuating or carrying people from disastrous locations. This is targeted for that kind of applications. Now, you, you also make 
constellations of drones. Yes. And there are defense applications for that. What yes. are those? Yes, sir. So we call it as swarm drone technology, where we are actually working with a group of drones which can do coordinated functionality. When I say coordinated functionality, particularly we are targeting, you know, drones with multiple sensors, different drones carrying different kind of sensors and they are you know, doing large area surveillance. So, group of drones are assigned to go to different locations in large area so that they can simultaneously collect a huge amount of data, which is very useful for strategic applications. So, now, that when we are talking of strategic applications, they can, can some of the work which you do and the drones you develop, can they be armed and, and used to uh, attack enemy targets if required? Uh, yes, sir. Actually, yes. So, actually, the purpose, uh, the way in which we design the drone is that, you know, we come up with a basic chassis design. You know, first, we make sure the chassis is stable enough, after which different application can be loaded to it. That is the strategy that we have adopted as Tihan. First, make the vehicle, you know, st st sturdy uh, so that it is robust enough to cater to any kind of application. And then, you know, you retrofit any kind of, you know, carrying mechanism or any of the arming mechanism sensors as per the application requirement. So, this can be, you know, tailor-made for any kind of such defense or strategic requirement as well. So, starting with air mobility, air taxi and maybe use in pilgrimage spots like Vaishno Devi or in Sabrimala or places where you need to take people uh, from one altitude to another. And is this safe, ma'am? How many flights have you had? How many crashes have you seen? So this, uh, as, I, as I was saying, like we have started this activity three years before. You know, we have had multiple versions of it so far, you know, designed, tested, validated. And this particular design, what we call as the Palankya and Chakra view, this is a very static design, very st stable design that we have frozen for different kind of heavy payload application. So this, I would say, have undergone multiple tests, more than I would say hundreds of uh, test crashes, I would say, you know, it has underground. And now this so is very, very stable. So you tested crashes? Yes. Not, yes. not had a crash, but tested it for that? No, sir, it has crashed actually in the field. Many times we have had multiple crashes of the vehicle also, because of which we have changed the design. We After we undergo an article. Oh, so you learned from learned that from, and, and yes. made it more endurable? More Yes, more endurable and now it is very stable. After getting this design, we have not encountered any accidents so far. These have been up and functional for the last six months, you know, in Tihan test bed. Now we have started this, we have done, you know, more than 1.5 kilometer continuous endurance test in the test bed itself. Now we are going to do campus wide testing, where from the Tihan test bed, we will be sending the vehicle to the, you know, main gate of the campus, which is around two kilometer of crow fly distance and continuously do the service uh, up and down, you know, which is, which will actually give us more confidence carrying the vehicle through the campus itself. So, preparing for India and air mobility in the future? Yes, sir. Yes. We will be leaders in this area of advanced air mobility. With that vision is what we have actually started the mission of autonomous navigations in advanced air mobility. Thanks a lot for speaking to me, Professor Thank Raja you so Lakshmi. much, sir. Thank you. What a pleasure to see India's first flying autonomous drone which can carry an injured person or air passengers. Uh, one has seen different videos at uh, amateur level, but to see IIT Hyderabad mastering this very complex technology, uh, a, a great move and hopefully India will benefit from your uh, developments and that it will be finally certified and regulated is the wish and soon we will see it yes. flying regularly. Yes. So the test bed at IIT Hyderabad made an air ambulance. They say it can also be used as an air taxi. But trust me, the bigger use could one day be at places like Vaishno Devi or Sabrimala, where people have to be taken from lower altitude to higher altitude. Obviously, it has to be regulated. There has to be safety and security. All of those regulations will probably fall in place. But till then, this test bed at IIT Hyderabad 
giving India autonomous air mobility capability towards a developed India by 2047. A great requirement for India being fulfilled by a frontline IIT of India. At the Tihan facility of IIT Hyderabad with camera person Nagarajan Palav Bagla for NDTV.